Hi everyone. Uh, this is our senior design project, Hand Mouse, and we are group 19. Uh, I'm Hao. I'm Lin. I'm Wei Qi. And uh, this is the overview of our presentation. So we are going to introduce you the objectives of our pre of our project, and then me and Lin are going to go through the working process of the hardware part. And Wiki is responsible for the working process of the software, and then we are going to give you a summary. Okay, uh, the motivation of our project rises from daily experience. Uh, I think you, uh, you guys may uh, have the feeling that when you are sitting in the bus, lying in the bed, or even making a presentation, it is un unpleasant to use a traditional mouse because um, it, uh, there is no space for you to uh, use it. To solve this problem, we decide to make a mouse that is portable and easy to use in all kinds of situations. And uh, there are five stages for the working process of the hardware, and uh, me and Lin are going to go through this. The first stage of our project is that a uh, gyroscope works perfect with Arduino Uno. I choose IMU3000 as our motion sensor. It uses I2C to connect uh, to communicate with Arduino Uno, and it actually um, can work both as gyroscope and accelerometer. In our case, um, I decide to. Uh, I think gyroscope is better, works better than accelerometer because it is convenient for us to rotate our hand, uh, rotate our wrist rather than moving our hand left and right. Um, and in the uh, in this stage, we use Arduino Uno. Uh, only to test the motion sensor. So the next step, uh, we will replace it. And uh, after we have successfully demonstrated <coughs> the, the motion sensor in the, using the Arduino Uno, the next task is to make it much smaller in size so it can be it can fit our requirements. Um, based on this, I, I chose Arduino Micro, which is much smaller in size but has a similar function as uh, Arduino Uno. And also another powerful advantage for this is uh, the Arduino Micro has a mouse library which is uh, very, very easy to use. Um, before five weeks demo, I used the prototype bar to connect all the functional, functional modules. Um, it needs wires to connect it, so it looks like a little bit messy. Then I used uh, Eagle to draw the printed circuit board. Um, there is no wire, and it it uh, luckily it has the same size of other functional modules, so uh, it looks better now. And um, then I add the uh, wireless connection function and the independent power supply to our project. Uh, for the wireless connection, I choose Bluetooth, and uh, so I use a uh, Blue Smurf HID, uh, for which which HID stands for Human Interface uh, Devices. So this means that the Bluetooth can be recognized by all the computers uh, universally without any special driver, and it can be recognized as a keyboard, uh, mouse, and etc. So this is uh, very powerful, and also it sends data to the computer through uh, serial communication. And uh, also, you can see it's very small in size, so it's uh, it's the best match for our project. And uh, for the power supply part, uh, it it spend most of I spend most of my time working on the power supply part. For the uh, blue for the blue Smurf, it uh, it requires 3.3 volts to power up, and for the Arduino, we need five volts. So. Uh, in order to make our prototype to work properly, we need to maintain at least uh, six six volts battery, six volts. And uh, at first, I choose uh, three three two. I choose to connect three button batteries in series to power our project up. And uh, it works, but it just works for uh, several minutes. And uh, after doing research and analysis, I found out that this is because the the current is too. Too large, and uh, after a while, it reaches the inner resistance of the button battery, the button battery, which, uh, which, as a result, most of the power is wasted by the inner resistance, but not to power up our uh, prototype. So, uh, 
Alternatively, I choose the Duracell Procell, which is uh, 9 volts, and uh, it has a much smaller resistance. So now it works very well for our project, and it can power up for at least uh, 5 hours. The final stage of our project is the enclosure. Um, I asked my friend, who is a mechanical engineering student, to um, make this box and send this to the mechanical shop to do the 3D print. Uh, and now I'm going to talk about the uh, software and firmware. Uh, what I did is the uh, uh, user interface for the early testing on the PC side and the gyroscope uh, firmware as well as the um, Bluetooth. Um, so for the gyroscope, it does a uh, IGC communication with the microcontroller and um, I do the testing on PC side early. Here's a test uh, program I use to calibrate the uh, gyroscope because it's not at zero uh, at the very beginning. It has an off offset on three axes. So um, you can see here in the program, I just get rid of those offsets. So um, when it's when the mouse, I mean when the gyroscope is in, in steady state, the mouse won't move. Uh, also, there is a little demo for that. Uh, just as um, how mentioned, um, for micro, uh, the micro it ha do has a mouse library. So at the very early stage, we do have a USB mouse that work properly. Uh, so the next stage for us is to implement the, implement the Bluetooth part. The Bluetooth does a serial communication with the um, my, um, with the Arduino. Um, Arduino do have like two ports for serial communication, but I choose uh, uh, other ports to uh, by using a software um, serial library because the original. Um, serial communication ports are also used for uh, USB communication and I don't want to mess them up. Um, to set it up, I use the firmware uh, provided by Sparkfront, um, which is simply just doing the uh, serial communication with using the computer with the, um, uh, with the micro, uh, with the Adrenaline Micro and with the Bluetooth. Um, so I set it up with a, uh, into a mouse HID by setting the uh, third number of the HID flag to two, and uh, the last digit I set it to three, so it will re try to recount to um, at most eight devices that lastly link to um, build a connection with the um, Bluetooth. And also, uh, we had a, a hard time to do the reconnection, but I finally figured that out by changing the um, DTR mode, which is defa by default to the pairing mode, so it can reconnect to the um, computer automatically. And also, um, for the mouse part, it's communication with the uh, communicate with the uh, um, PC side using the UART communication. And here is the format, so I just implement that to make the uh, mouse work properly. Okay, uh, here's a summary for our project. The success is very obvious. As you can see, uh, our project is, uh, is very uh, easy, easy to use. It's very handful. It's, it's not very big, and uh, it requires all, all of our requirements. Uh, it satisfies uh, almost all of our pre-requirements. And the failure is, is, uh, is that the, the battery cannot power up our, our uh, product for uh, 24 hours. That that doesn't, that one doesn't satisfy our pre requirements, and besides that, I think uh, uh, most of the we 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 have satisfied most of the requirements, and uh, for the for for the further improvements, I would say for the next time we would use a switch regulator instead of the linear regulator with the Arduino Micro. So in that way, the the uh, current would be much be much smaller, and we can we can make the the size of our project as half as this one. And also, uh, it can power up more, uh, longer, maybe 24 hours. Uh, I, I don't know. I, we will try for next time. And uh, I, actually, I have talked this to with Dean uh, to use a switching regulator. But the problem is, at that time, we have already built up all the circuits and uh, uh, combined them together. So to change the linear regulator to the switching re regulator has a risk to break up the board. So that's why we gave up that plan. And uh, I think that's all for the presentation.